Hi, I'm Robin Emley, otherwise known as Calypso Ray, on the Open Energy Monitor. This is a little circuit um, I've just knocked up, which I think quite nicely shows the effect of different mark space ratios when heating a resisted element such as um, an immersion heater, or in my case, a kettle. So we've got what we got here is a kettle, a light bulb, a professional AC um, controller. This is a Carlo Gavazzi. It's a 30 amp controller. Um, makes life very easy, and a rehacked um, model railway controller project, which looks a lot more complicated than it is. Basically, all it's got in here, we've got um, a switch on the front and a fuse, a granddaddy of a main trans mains transformer, way over spec. That provides power through to a bridge rectifier, of which there's two, only one is used. Uh, that comes into a 12 volt. Um, DC regulator, which provides power to um, an op amp. This is an LM358, which is a single rail op amp, which is simply doubling a um, signal, which is 0 to 5 volts, which is what an Arduino can produce, to 0 to 10 volt, which is what the Carlo Gavazzi needs. The 10 volt signal comes out of here, simply goes along a wire into the AC controller. The other thing that the AC controller needs is um, a 24 volt AC supply, that's one of its options. That's coming along this other wire. And that's provided by a couple of um, basic um, mains transformers. There's a two by six and a two by nine. The outputs come out here and I just pick up whichever one I need. I think it's two six volts and a nine. Um, but it gives something like 25 volts of AC uh, and that works fine. Now this is all on. Um, hence I'm not touching anything. Um, the light's off, the kettle's off, because we are in con down at the bottom of the control. So if I take my screwdriver and I alter the twiddler, then something should happen. And we have a light. So we're now up at 5 volts, which has been doubled up to 10. The light's fully on. And we go down and we have direct control right down to the bottom. Now, at the moment we're only controlling a light, but I can equally well flick the kettle switch and it doesn't make the slightest difference to the light because the um, Carlo Gavazzi um, AC uh, controller is, is coping with the load. This piece of kit is about £70 from Farnell or Radio Spares. It's not something that you would choose to use, but I thought it's a good way of getting off the ground. Now, it has a number of modes of operation, this controller, which I think will be interesting to uh, run through. We're running on phase angle control at the moment, so part of each half cycle is being allowed through and part isn't. And we get the typical rattle that you pick up from a dimmer. And if I twiddle the voltage, you might be able to hear the kettle rattling away a little bit. It's not too bad, and I wouldn't have thought this was a problem, but um, it would be much nicer to have a zero crossing system, I think, if possible. So if I reduce this down to quite a low uh, amount of power, this will be PV panels producing a few hundred watts only uh, to be sent off to resistive element. If we now move to the next uh, mode on the controller, now this is a mode where um, we're using zero crossing and the controller is only allowing through such cycles as are necessary to meet the control requirements over a 64 um, cycle window. So probably we're on for one cycle and off for three or four, on for another. So although it looks rather drastic um, from a light point of view, this would be very kind to um, a resistive heater like an immersion. Now we move to the next mode and this isn't doing anything for the camera um, this is for a one second window it's switching the load on for as much as is needed and then off and then we move to the next mode is a three second window so we're getting some a better idea of the mark space this looks like on for one off for two or three, so this might be 800 watts of load, something like that. And finally, if we go to the 
8 second mode. This will again with the same duty cycle on for a couple of seconds off for the complement of the 8. Now the problem with running an immersion heater like this in a live PV situation is I'm fairly sure that the amount of time that this load is on, which is about a second, that will be very likely to trip the meter, certainly the one in our garage, which measures in thousandths of a kilowatt hour. There'll be a very good chance of tripping the meter during that stage. So an eight second window is too long to be using this kind of control. But if you went to a three second, or possibly a one second window, I'm sure that will be fine, certainly on our meter. Now if you have a one second window, that's 50 main cycles, that doesn't give you a very fine degree of resolution as to how much is on and how much is off. If you go to mode 2 on the Carlo, this is the distributed mode, and I think this would be an excellent mode to try to mimic on an Arduino based system. So you could have quite a long measurement window, which might be two, four, four seconds, eight seconds, something like that. Um, and within that period, you would distribute the um, on cycles so as to give the right amount of power as, um, as this is doing. So in all the modes, we've got the same mark space ratio, but the performance looks different. And our kettle is boiling up. There we are. We can hear the kettle going. I can hear the kettle boiling up now. So if I were to change this to a more drastic kind of... Let's go for the 8 second mode. So now the kettle's on full. And now it's gone off. And now it's coming back on again. So you can hear the kettle coming on full, going off. This wouldn't work in a PV situation. And going back to the typical phase angle. With this particular controller, with this particular controller, the amount of noise that you get out of it with phase angle control is actually not very much of a problem. And I would have thought that you wouldn't therefore need zero crossing but it could be that if you build a discrete circuit with triax and opto isolators the amount of rattling would be unacceptable so uh, zero crossing would in that case be um, the way to go anyway that'll do for now and uh, i hope to hook this up to an arduino uh, which is just down here uh, before too long signing out for now <laughs>